Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph of one beautiful young lady. Wow. But they want to engrave it on an edge light. He called it a lamp, but the pictures, other pictures he showed me was of an edge light. And it really picked up her hair. And there's really only one way to do, and I'm not going to go through the photograph process, but this is the way it comes back from photograph. And for some reason, it puts a black background. And that's a no-no in an engraver, so we need to remove it. And if you don't have photograve, there's other ways to do it. I've always used photograve. It's a great product. But he, he wants to learn how to do it with a background and, back, and without a background. With a, with a background on this picture on a piece of acrylic, to me, it's not going to work. So you need to remove the background. There are several ways to do that. I always kind of zoom in on a particular spot. I like using the three-point curve. We're not going to worry about her finger right there. I'm just going to... And by using the three-point curve, you have a little bit more control. And then you got to figure out... And this is not the best picture to do because of the hair. And, you know, you might want to uh, try a different picture and and just kind of play around with it because I don't, I don't know how that's going to look with her hair, you know, on the edge light. So we're going to remove some of her hair, which is a shame. She's, she's a beautiful set of hair. But then if you just keep going with your three-point curve line and go to the nodes and try to make everything round a little bit, we're going to forget about that piece of hair. We're going to go all the way up here and then put a three-point curve on. You're going to you're going to eliminate some of the hair. I don't care what you do. Um you know, there's probably several ways, but what you do not want is a sharp point right there. So what? while we're here, I would actually take this node with the shape tool and maybe bring the, bring this node in and try to get rid of that. Well, that really messed that up. And because it's a, so you could always just hit that node and delete it, get back to the three point curve I normally like to do things another way, but with this amount of hair, uh, there's really no, really any way. So with the three-point curve tool, you can curve it and then just left-click your mouse button. Now, like I said, you don't want any of those sharp points, and, but we can, we can fix that after the problem too, or after the process. So we're gonna go down here, let go of the mouse, and then hit the mouse again almost done uh, you'd want to take a little bit more time but then the secret is to go across here and join these nodes and that didn't work so i can always just back up try to do a straight line across the bottom and join it i don't think i did because we need a closed cell so we're going to take and join that node now we can take this Uh, part and use the smart fill tool and fill that in and I'm going to nudge it out of the way and then you know this is the part you'd want to maybe clean up and smooth up uh, take the if you have X7 or above take the smoothing tool we'll make it like two inches and just kind of smooth out some of these parts because the smoother the better you know you don't want any jagged edges and then you'd have to decide whether what you want. Now, because we've nudged it, we can nudge the photograph over and we can select them both and go right here to intersect. And it cut out all the background. We can take this now and just double check, put in a yellow box, go to object, order, back of page. And there, that looks pretty good. I would still consider maybe trimming that hair out uh, or maybe feathering it somehow. Maybe just take the shape tool and clean it up a little bit. But then you're gonna X, get everything else off your screen. Let's tell you what, let's copy this, open another page, paste it, and then go to bitmap mode and grayscale and then export that as a jpeg 
and just, I called it girl. I put it into Photograve, which I do not have hooked up to this laptop. And I ran the process and this is what I got. Now, and I, I, I've never done this on acrylic. He wants to do an edge light on acrylic. I don't know, I just know that this is gonna engrave solid. So we wanna get rid of that. So I'm gonna put that on top of the other one. And then I'm gonna try the intersect again. And there we, there's the photo grave without a background. Now that will engrave. Now this is only if you have photograph. There is ways to do it inside of Corel, but I don't do that many photographs and I've never really learned. So, but he also wants to do an edge light. And so this is all one piece. What we can do is, well, we really can't, you know what you'd have to do is use this outline, which I've actually made it smaller. And uh, well, here, we still got this one. That's the same shape. And what we could do, because they're identical, we can hit P and P and put it in the center of the page. Then we can move that one out of the way. And we can go up here to effects or object, convert it to a bet map, grayscale. We've already done that. I'm trying to trace it. I'm trying to put an outline around it. Really can't do it. Uh, so here's one thing we can do if you're running into this problem. Draw you a rectangle. Let's get the other box out of the way, or the other example out of the way. And take this box and use your Smart Fill tool. See, there's still something there. So we'll do it, we'll do it with the, with the one we fixed. So this should work. Take your rectangle, put it up here, and just fill in with the Smart Fill tool. And then you just get the item. Now let's nudge that out of the way. Let's left click, right click, go up to object, break the curve apart. So there's our, we don't really need to do that in a way. Let's nudge all this stuff out of the way. Let's put this in the center of the page. And his, I hit delete. I meant, meant to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And we could actually get rid of this rectangle and go ahead and, the, you know what, we really didn't need an outline, I guess, because we're not gonna contour it. The ones he showed me were an oval. So since that's all in the center of the page, we'll just make an oval, quite a bit smaller and hit P, and then you could expand it out. Because you want a little bit of acrylic past it. And then depending on what kind of edge light it is and what else you know is gonna go into the base, let's see the, uh, the base hole is 2.5 inches and you need to know how long this needs to be. Then you could hold down the shift key and select that and weld that. And now you have an edge light. Now, make sure you take away this outline. <clears throat> so there's an edge light. What happens when you put an LED light? It shines up through the acrylic. None of this will show and only anything that the laser touch will, and this is, I've never done acrylic. I almost wish I had a t piece of test acrylic just to see what this would look like. I think it's gonna look pretty outstanding. Anyway, hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.